Military Boss General Samson Wadede has released the chronology of events during the KDF camp attack in Somalia, in which an unknown number of soldiers were killed and others wounded. Mwadede says the attack was so intense because explosives used were three times what they were used to during the 1998 U.S. Embassy bombing in Nairobi. At around 5.05.00 hours, the first vehicle bomb improvised explosive device, the VBID, drove through the adjacent Somali National Army camp and exploded at the center of the KDF defense position. It was then followed by other vehicle-borne explosive improvised devices that exploded in quick succession. They were also engaged by rocket-propelled grenades, RPGs, as well as truckloads of suicide bombers. I would like you to appreciate the intensity and magnitude of this attack. Each of the VBIDs used in, in the incident had a fierce, had a force equivalent to the terrorist attack on the embassy in Nairobi in 1998, or the VBID attack in Jazeera Palace Hotel in Mogadishu on 1st November 2015. If you can imagine that one vehicle bomb improvised explosive device that went through the US Embassy in Nairobi did such damage, you can imagine three of those in that small defensive position. Whether this is an investigation has been launched and a team deployed to El Ade to establish more facts before comprehensive information is released to the public. Speaking during a press conference this afternoon, whether they have or declined to release the death toll or the number of those wounded or missing until after investigations. I am aware that most of you are interested to know the figures. I would like you to appreciate the briefing already given on the magnitude of this attack and therefore the need for proper identification of our fallen heroes which in some cases will require DNA. DNA tests will have to be done on some of our fallen heroes. The families have been requested to assist in this process. I'm Angela Wamboy for Capital TV.